Welcome to the Slightly Biased Podcast. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the Slightly Biased Podcast. Vinny, we're back. It's been 80 days. I did the math earlier. Wow. That's just sad. Wow. Uh, we have Ethan with us, who is a, a recurring member. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? All right. Good. Well, should we should we start should we start with the big news? Yep, I'm pregnant. Okay. Just uh, kidding. Congrats. Vinny, Vinny and I uh, we got divorced, and uh, he he got the cat in the the divorce. Yeah, this is awkward for me right now. Yeah, it's a little awkward. Not for me. Um, but yeah, we're all moved out of our our place together. And Except for me. You're, oh, you're not I still live in a us. basement. Oh, you still live in a basement. Live in your okay. parents' basement. <laughs> yes, it's very roomy. Because you're a teenager. But now I actually just got credit. Uh, I'm established now. Nice. So I'm gonna leave. Hopefully by the summer. There Why? You go. Live at home as long as you can, please. How old are you again? 20. Not even 21 yet. 20. No one cares. Right, live at home, <laughs> man. Yeah. Save up. We already had this conversation before. Well, it's been 80 days, so it's been a while. Yeah. Refresh our I memories. Don't want, I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so Vinny and I, we, uh, we live separately now. I live by myself and Vinny lives with, uh, his, uh, SO as they call them significant other. Yeah. Um, but we only live what, maybe a five mile drive or five, not, it's five not mile, that far, man. Uh, like a five, five minute drive apart. Yeah. So it's basically you live together still. No. Yeah. We still pee together every night. Yeah. Oh, you guys still pee together every still night? Yeah, call on the phone. Do you guys brush each other's teeth every night too? No. Who, no. What is brushing your teeth? Yeah, I don't know what that is. Brushing your teeth. Oh, do you mean your balls? Yeah. What do you What do you think? I think I meant. Is that what the ball? Th- yeah. Is that what the ball paste is for? Yeah. Well, you know, pee is stored in the balls, right? What? Yeah, pee is stored I in never the balls. Knew that. Wow. Yeah. You you, knew, you learn something new every day, I guess, huh? Not every day. If, if you're really attentive, I, th- I think every day. I think it's more realistic to learn, like maybe. Couple things every week. I think that's what you, know, you don't want to burn out, Ethan. You know? Yeah, you're Take so young. I'm already burned out. How old are you right now? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> 20, again. but I feel like I'm 45. Think, think about how many things you're gonna learn if you learn something every day. Oh, Derek. At 45, do the math for me real quick. You can't do it. It's impossible. Every day is an adventure. Yeah. Math isn't real. Math's not real. Math isn't actually real. Hashtag Infowars. Alex Jones. Yeah, he's he's my dad. he's wild. That's not good. I never said it was. <laughs> Ow! I just, All right. got, I just got bit by the running bug. Tell us about it. I run a lot now. Like Let's Forrest talk Gump about over that. here. Let's talk about like, that. How, like, give us some background. How'd you get into it? And all I just that started running one day from my problems. He wanted and to I be said, a this loser. This feels pretty good. You graduated from drinking. Yeah. <laughs> you wanted to stop being a loser. Runner's high. Am I right? Hey, how about you how many, uh, how many start miles? doing strength workouts and lifting? Uh, I'm, str- I'm, I'm, I'm plenty strong. You're plenty strong? He's plenty super strong. strong. Yeah. So what what are you doing? Like, what are, what, if if I'm looking at, are you training for a marathon? Or are you doing like, Right now, I'm training to do 6.2 miles. 6.2, so that's a 10K. Yeah. Wow. So next month. What's your training schedule look like on a weekly basis? Every other day right now. Running every other day? Yeah. If are you're you, feeling strength then. Which still those I know, days. I'm just lazy. You're still Don't going to the planet of fitness? No, I canceled that. Good. There's no planet of fitness in Cambridge that I know of. Yeah. It's easy to get to. What's the closest? Oh, you guys have a gym here? Yeah. I just don't go to it. I have a gym. Yeah, I have a gym in my building. I have not visited it yet either. Sounds like a waste. It's called responsibility, Ethan. Ever heard of it? Yes, I have actually. I I'll tell you what though. Taking the train to work is life changing. I wish I had that right now. I'm it's waiting. awesome. It's literally, it's less than 20 minutes. So like door to door, it's 25 minutes total. If I go to Starbucks, it's like 28. Um, well, you got that down to a science. Yeah. Huh? But yeah. the great thing is like the thing with driving when we were living at our old place is like one day it would it take me 20 minutes to drive. The next place, next day it would take me 50 minutes because traffic. Interstate traffic. Yeah. yeah. It was bad. Pike yeah. traffic. Now there's. I go through that right now. Now it's, it's just, it's all scheduled. It's like bing, bang, boom. It's great. I love it. And it's way cheaper than having a car. Does your work pay for it? Do you get uh, a trolley car for free? I don't get it for free, but I get it um, pre-tax. So I get a pretty good deal on it. Yeah, it's not bad. Yeah. I mean, it's all also... It's a lot it's cheaper like, than gas. It's like 85 bucks a month. So pre-tax, you're saving, what, 20 bucks a month? So cheap. So cheap. So, so. 
not 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 the place. Well, did you hear about what's going on there right now? In Sochi specifically? Uh, Sochi, Russia, yes. Is that uh, where the volcano is? Uh, no. no, they've been... Uh, Hashtag in, uh, What is it? In anticipation of the World Cup for soccer. It's about to happen. Germany's going to beat Brazil again. It's in Sochi? Yes. Uh, yes. Is uh, Sochi one of the host cities? Yes. And uh, they've been euthanizing stray dogs out on the streets. They did that. And then leaving them. Wait, wait, wait. Hey, man. People going to eat. Hold on. Can we, can we step back? Yes. Because when Sochi hosted the Olympics, that report was there. So are, are they just continuing to do this? Uh, I Man, think it's dogs a are dumb. Thing because they Keep have going new back. pictures with like new evidence coming out that it's happening again. So there's like a recurring remember, pattern. Well, Sochi was what, 2014? 2016? I Winter know. Olympics. It was 2014. Yeah, it was 2014. And Correct. I remember and they were. I remember that news was there. And then also, like, the bathrooms didn't work in the Olympic Village or something. Like, there was a lot of issues. Well, it's crazy. Like, Jeez, these, those athletes are putting up a lot of problems. <laughs> Hashtag well, joke. Well, the issue is, like, these countries bid on these huge events, thinking it's going to be such a, like, an ep- economic boost. And then all the infrastructure just goes to waste right, at, right when they leave. Basically, and yeah. It ends up, honestly, it just ends up leaving it in worse shape. Like Brazil? Uh, Brazil, yeah. Brazil literally like covered up part of their city just so like people wouldn't notice it. So it's yeah. like, it's mad messed up. Hashtag Zika. Yeah, literally. They had the Zika outbreak during that. Was that it? Was crazy. Yeah. I thought Zika was, w- Zika was an African thing. Zika uh, was made no, by the it, government. It uh, travels everywhere because it's in bugs. So it spreads. Good point. It origin, Its origin is in Africa, though. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Um, what else is new? You oh my! Run? I haven't told you guys this yet. Oh, this is big news to the podcast. Huge news. Okay, I'm adopting a tree in Cambridge. Oh, the Public Works came out. You can pick any tree in the city. You got you got to water it and take care of it, and it's what your a tree. Helping the environment. To, did you have to pay for it? No, adopt? it's free. I adopted this tree. The tattoo is so gay. Hashtag gay in the bad way, not the happy way. Hashtag. Hashtag. Young, I'm, I'm homo friendly. Young in the 2010s. I. Uh, yeah, I'm getting a tree. I donated. I I didn't donate. I uh, I was gifted an olive tree from Italy, and I'm getting my first shipment of olive oil from Italy shipped like now. Really. So we're both doing. What's your tree's things. name? Uh, I don't know. Can I have some wow. oil? I, it depends on how much olive oil I get. I like to cook. So. What I do mean, you cook? Pasta, meats. What kind of meats? Olive like oil chicken. is the best. Chicken? How do you cook your chicken? How do I cook it? Yeah. Yeah. In Let me pan? know. I don't know how to cook. I don't know how to cook. In a pan? Okay. Do you ever grill it? pan? Oh, grilled uh, chicken's way better. Grilled oh, chicken sometimes. Hold on. We just got a new grill. Let's pull, so. up, let's pull it back real quick. Okay. okay. Pull it back. <laughs> um, so I had dinner in, with a couple of friends last night in Chinatown at this place. Oh, me so horny. <laughs> <laughs> It, it actually ended up. I, I think Even it was actually. Was I think it was actually a Korean barbecue place. Which oh, I love Korean barbecue. Kind of Ooh, mad good. It was mad a chicken good. place. And hold on, let me. Actually, I'm not going to get free advertising. <laughs> um, but it was the I best love. fried chicken I've ever had. And it was like they had one. It was called Angry. It was Angry Sauce. And it was like you know, like when it's too spicy. It wasn't that. It was like good but spicy. Angry. Yeah. And then the barbecue sauce was great too. But I think we should go there. Was it sweet okay. baby rays? Huh? Sweet baby rays? Why do you like know. the most disgusting sauces? Sweet Whoa, rays is, geez. You don't like sweet baby rays? There's better sauces. Because you're a racist? There's better sauces. Sweet baby rays is great. Okay. It's good, but there's better sauces. Yeah, I'm That's not. That's totally just up to your palate, I guess. Or to your intelligence. Wow. Wow. Intelligence wow. of your palate. Woo. Yeah, I think. Um, <laughs> I think Ethan has turned into a food snob, which I didn't know. He's just a fucking snob. I am a little bit Fuck of a snob, you. yeah. So, Ethan, it's been a while since we've hung out. It's probably been a couple months. Yep. 80 uh, days. Do you have gonorrhea yet from Tinder? No, I get my penicillin shots about every month. So. I, w- I, w- I, w- I will say that uh, I did, did miss you a bit. Enjoy uh, spending some time with you. Yeah, I, I miss quality time. So, uh, it's, good. it's good to see you again. Yep. Can you, do you have any major life updates? Um. Well, like I said earlier, I got glasses. Wow! Like yesterday, it's pretty big. Uh, I can see better now at distance. That's good. That's all I really need it for. I feel for. like that's good for driving, right? Uh, it is. That's why I wear it at night sometimes. Okay. But uh, I don't have to wear them a lot, so okay. it's not bad. I don't want to become dependent. Vinny, did you ever hear of Vinny talk about glasses? 
he one time confessed to me. He said, Ethan, I, I really like glasses, and I, I wish, wish I, I could had have them. them. I wish I was younger. I wanted glasses. I have, he I've, really wants them, I've but com- he just can't have I've, them. I have computer glasses. Get computer glasses. They're great. I don't want computer glasses. Oh, yeah. Get computer have you, glasses. You see mine? Mine don't look that cool. But <laughs> That's why I had to get glasses, too, because my eyes hurt a lot. I have a lot of eye strain. Yeah. So, yeah, I had to get them for that. Yeah. Speaking of looking cool, Ethan turned me on to these great running shorts called Ranger Panties, oh, yes. and I am buying a pair. They're yes. super short shorts. I'm going to Google I'm going to wear them to work when I run during my lunch break. You run on your lunch break now? Yeah. yeah. Really? You don't run after work? If well, I'm getting paid to do it, I'm going to do it at work. But you're sweaty, though. That's right. I don't care. I'll sit there and smell all day. I don't care. Yeah, that's kind of... You don't go to the showers? Do you have showers at your work? Oh, yeah. they're like silkies. Yeah. This called Ranger Sophie's Panties, basically. Yeah, the one he showed me it costs a little money, but they have great quotes on them. That's why I want to buy them. Yeah, I have the uh, thigh weight to the danger zone. That's ones the one I'm buying from uh, this company. Rogue sells them for eighteen bucks a pair. That's pretty good. You can get like blank ones like twelve bucks. Yeah, you can get like all over like black or blue for like twelve bucks. That's cool. That's how much we pay from down in Texas, so I, I bought a few. Yeah, people are gonna love it. Comfort, comfiest shorts to work out in. No My joke. Out, uh, the best. Me up, I, I ran a, I ran in a pink shirt last Thursday at work, and people made fun of me. Why? Because you were because they're like the... Neanderthals. <laughs> yeah, basically. I was about to say something else. Remember, <laughs> remember? Do you guys remember the kid in high school who would wear the pink shirt, and it was always it's like probably real, the Spanish real, kid. It was always like real men wear pink or something like that. Yep. So stupid. It was always the pink polos nowadays yeah. that they do it, and I'm like, why are you wearing such like a color that stands out like? They're just like because they're peacocking, man. Do you wear guys pink? who get girls like, do that? I have a couple of pink shirts, but I don't wear them that often. It's not pink; it's salmon. I have salmon shorts. Salmon's a great color. It's a bit. It's Real men warm. wear salmon. Real men treat ladies with respect. <laughs> Real men. Hashtag remember that. <laughs> Real men don't respect women. <laughs> and that's a proven whoa, fact. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Now I know why you're single. I'd like to clarify that's not yeah. a reflection of Derek yeah. and Vinny's views. That is solely Ethan's view. 20 year old with no world views i don't know about that please tell us about your world views what do you want to know i don't know just tell me ask me a question i'll give you my view on it okay if you are in uzbekistan and a little kid comes up to you and says mister do you have a daughter what do you do wrong you don't do that, Ethan. Wasn't Uzbekistan the place from? Uh, oh no, it's Kazakhstan from Borat. Sorry. Kazakhstan. It was, yeah, and it yeah. wasn't. It wasn't it, like they didn't film it there. They filmed it in, like Romania or something. Yeah, like it was that. really in Romania, but it was like Kazakhstan. Yeah. What would you do? Uh, if a little boy came up yep. to me and asked me where yep. my his daughter was or my sister is, I asked you for a dollar. It's a dollar. Oh, a dollar. I thought you would said. Would you give him a dollar? Yeah, I give him a dollar. Why would I not? Because he's actually working for a terrorist organization. Wow, you're such a culturally. It's all about winning hearts and minds, though. Wow, oof. I could have turned oof. him away and then turned him into a oof. cell. Hashtag America is beautiful. Oof. I was born to be an American, where at least I know I'm free. It's really good. Still... I have a question for you guys. Yeah. I've been thinking about this. <coughs> so I was driving today and I had to get a quick lunch, so I got like a quick fast food item. Ooh, what ooh, item? Ooh. Uh, Whopper from Burger King. Oh. What you is the new deal? The I heard about this. The dollar, the two sandwiches, and like a s- chips and a drink for like three dollars. Where Th- three seventy nine Burger King. Burger King chips or fries? Oh, fries. Sorry, sorry, I'm English. I mean, I don't eat Burger King that often. I mean, Chipotle is my vice, but yeah. Do you? What about Quadoba? What do you think of Quadoba? I haven't been to Quadoba in a while. I went there last week and ate raw chicken. Um, not you very ate happy. raw chicken? Yeah, the chicken was raw that I ate, and I was like... Did you complain? Th- no, I'm not really complaining type. Because uh, that, that's actually dangerous. <laughs> it's not like you eating... You might die. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. The lady at the counter was kind of depressed when she was like making it, so I was just like, I don't want to go back up to her. Did you, did you ask like, her out? You could have changed her what whole if, day. What if, what if her raw salmonella-filled chicken killed people? Would you still feel bad? Because I wouldn't. Would you give her a dollar? I already... Hashtag give her the dollar. She how do you know it was? How do you know it was? It was. It just kind of had that like fleshy taste, and then when I spit it back out, it like was like red still, and I was like, Ugh. I was like, mm, I don't really think this is good. But it, chicken, was, like, it chicken, was only half the chicken though. That's the thing. Chicken. Some of it was good. Some of it wasn't. Chicken, so. Chicken's the one thing you do not fuck with. You cook that thing through. Yeah, you don't fuck chicken. So man. that's why I didn't finish it, and I just kind of stayed away. Fish, you're fine. 
chicken. I don't know about steak though. I eat it like rare. I mean, like, yeah, you have to cook it to an extent. Like, you can't just eat it raw. No, but like, there's like, there's like yeah, levels. There's like, yeah, well, there's levels well done, you can yeah. hit. Chicken, it's just like, you better cook it till it's done, or else you could be in some trouble, yeah, Buster. Yeah, so I just left and was just like, that was terrible, and learned from my story. Can I have? Can I have it out of ten, please? Out of ten, I give it a solid uh, three. Wow. Actually, no, I'll, I'll bump it up to a four because some of the chicken was cooked and some of it wasn't. So that's why I didn't trust wow. it that well, much. Well, what did you like? What what made it a four? What'd you like? Oh, I I love uh, the sour cream, the cheese, Ooh, the rice, big time sour cream, the guy sauce, right the salsas. So you liked everything but the chicken because it wasn't cooked. If it was cooked, it would have been good. But Is it <laughs> safe to say that if the chicken was cooked, it would have been probably a seven or eight? I go over to solid seven if the chicken was cooked. What what's it missing to get to a ten? Tits and ass. I don't know the. The queso wasn't that good. Queso? We got queso is on Is Cadoba the one that gives the free queso? Or is that, that was Mo's? queso. The Mo's is the free salsa. No, I think Mo's is Cadoba is the queso capital of the fast food chains. Oh. Are you saying that purposely? I don't know if you're saying it that way or not. <laughs> no, I was just saying that. The queso? That's what it is. Yeah, no, it's literally like that's what they're known for, the queso. <laughs> Please stop <laughs> saying it that way. It's what queso. Queso. <laughs> <laughs> Queso. You're at the can I have the queso, please. <laughs> Do you ask for the queso? <laughs> Only at Quidoba. <laughs> like this retard again. I can't tell if he's trolling us. I like to keep people in there to their seats sometimes. He. I don't think he was trolling at first. I like to keep uh, mysterious. Do you guys like donuts? Uh, I'm not a sweets guy, but I'll, I'll eat them. I don't know. I've been to Blackbird. The cop in me really That's likes in, donuts. That's uh, in Somerville, right? There's two. There's one on South End. I mean, the best one is Union Square Donuts. I've never been. Then we went to Blackbird. I saw it on Chronicle. No, you guys should go to the Union. Chronicle. Union Square is closer to you, and it's way better. We let's walk, go to we, Union the Square right now. One day. Right now? All right, let's pack up the podcast and start moving. Let's pack it up and go to Blackbird's. Blackbird, Blackbird donut. Good? I love their glazed donut. Yeah, I'm not a big donut. Would you, you glaze like it yourself? I do. Right? Yeah. No, you go there. There's really good gourmet artisanal donuts. I love bagels. artisanal. You know, you know, I love bagels. Yeah. I have bagels. What's your favorite while. bagel place? Bagel World. Reading? Yeah. Yep. That place or, is the best. Or Bagel Source in Cambridge. Bagel Source there. is amazing. I haven't explored Cambridge too much I yet. Know, I don't think anything beats the Reading Bagel World. Um, I haven't actually, now that I think about it, I think Bagel Source actually might. We're going to have to agree to disagree. Whatever, 20 year old. Yeah. Talk to me, you're 21 and had bagels you know, over the Joe world. Joe Sneaky has good bagels for like a, a chain. Let me tell you, it's not the Dunkin' Donuts over there. No. Because it's, it's awful. It's not Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> Honeydew. I've never been to a honeydew. They, they have good like bakery and pastry items. Is there don't? Is there no? Apologize. Is there a coffee any good? It's it's Hit or like, miss. It's like Dunkin' Donuts. It's like Dunkin' Donuts. Like Dunkin Dunkin yeah. Yeah. My favorite coffee right now at Dunks is the Thin Mints coffee. It's really I good. Don't try to go to Dunks anymore. I'm a Starbucks guy. I like Starbucks, but Dun- Dunks is just convenient. Starbucks for where is I go. too expensive though. That's I drink my coffee black though, so I need it to not taste like asshole. Well, yeah, I mean, I always like. There's a Keurig at work that they just pay for. Ooh, coffee, delicious! So I always get green. I love watered down coffee. I like, I like iced coffee too. I should have clarified yeah. there. Yeah, well, way better. I like iced so what I think I'm gonna do? Um, I have a Keurig now. I think I'm gonna make coffee cubes, and then just make it before I go to work and have it on my way in. Mm. That's a good idea. I like that. Yeah, I like donuts. So, Vinny, like, what's your what's how do you uh, how do you like the new place? Give me give me a quick little little thing. Uh, I love it. Uh, love living in the city. I love the tea. Love the people. Love the animals. Yeah, the noises. I love not paying for Ubers. I that like, cost thirty bucks to like, go anywhere. I like that too. That's been probably my favorite uh, thing thus far. You can walk to you can walk to places and just do shits. A lot of places open late. Yeah. Uh, Waltham sucks. I hate Waltham. It's for geriatrics. Senior living community. I don't think they knew we lived in Waltham. Now they do. Yeah. I hated Waltham. Waltham was cool for like the first month that we were there. And then we realized we didn't like it. Yep. Well, we were we were kind of in a bind. We moved pretty quick. Yeah. That's big facts. Big facts. We had a, a Remember, great, I was we had a great real estate point. professional. She's fucking awful. Paula Murray, awful real estate agent. She can go fuck herself. Don't care. I remember uh, Vincent in the beginning of that tried to get me to move in with him. And I said, I tried. That's a little bit weird. 
why. Yeah, I just need a roommate really bad, though. Because at the time. I, I really was, need a roommate. Yeah, like, so he settled for me. Yeah. I asked a Sorry, lot of people. Dick. Sorry, Dick. He did settle. He did, he did I settle. also asked Kevin. Ooh. He, he did settle for you, but I don't think in the end he thought of it as settling because of how great that time was. We had a great that, time. That he had with you. We had a yeah, great time. Yeah, I drank a lot of beer. Yeah. Yeah. I want that Vincent to come back. Why? Fun times. He's he's around. Let's see him. Maybe if you're 21. Yeah, once you're 21, it'll be fun. When are you 21 again? October. Well, we got some time. You can go. You can go for a trip and drink a lot. I already did that this past weekend. Oh my gosh, so cool. Hashtag so cool. Hashtag have, very cool. Hashtag Vermont. Are those sweatpants? No, they are uh, khakis. But they do have the jawstring and thing around here, but they're not sweatpants. Why are you... Okay. They're the comfiest pants I've ever worn, and they were $10 at the van store, so it was a steal. Ooh, the van store. That's a good deal. It's officially licensed van's product. I have a question for you. If you are a little person with dwarfism, do you go to the van store or the minivan store? Minivans. That makes sense. I'm gonna go I knew a girl who was uh, four or five in basic. Yep. They let people who are four or five years old in the military... Oh, four, five. Four, five. Oh, oh. It's like four, four, five. Yeah. Four, 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 five. You ask her out? Uh, I almost did, but then she went to a different base, so I was like, not going to work out. It's too bad. Yeah, Move to right. Canada. It's all right. It's rough. Yeah, she went to Canada. It was kind did of she? Bad. I don't know. Oh, I, don't I, I think she said that, but I could be wrong. She was a little Great. This tall. Great. Loved hearing from you, Ethan. Loved yeah. hearing from you. Uh, That was my talk for the day. Um... Nice. I um, kind of want to go home. Why? Sleep. Why? And sleep. We you got, got the new job, though. We you have another. Can, oh, I can we, talk about the new job. You got the new job, and you get to work later now. Oh, yeah. I've so I work this. from. You get this uh, fucking sweet shift that you love so much. Oh, it's great. 10 30 to 7. Best Sounds thing. awful, but great. It's great. I get to wake up, work out, go to work. Then if I want to go do stuff afterwards, I still can. And I just get to go to sleep. Cuts out a lot of downtime. I don't have as much like, oh, I just sit at my house and don't do anything sort of time. That's on you though, I think. Yeah. In a way. No. Yeah, I'll stick to my uh I'll stick to my normal shift. I don't know. I like my new shift. Well, what time is it till seven? Seven. That's not the worst. I mean I usually end up leaving work around six, so Yeah. I live like twenty minute no, fifteen minutes away. 10 minutes on the highway if I drive over 90. It's great. Yeah, I usually work like 8.30 to 6. Who's yeah. generally? That sounds terrible. Nope. Why? Not when you like your job and you're an adult. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound terrible? 8.30 to 6? 8.30? I don't know. I just don't like waking up early in a way. I mean, I try to get there. I feel like it's different for you because you answer phones all day. Yeah, I don't do that. No, I, I feel mean, like that's... I just don't like waking up early. Like, What was the earliest you ever I had to wake up before? For what? For like, I don't know, just in general. I got up at 1 a.m. on Saturday morning to go to Maine. What about something you had to go do? Like, it was like for your work. Wait, why'd you do that? Because we were going to Maine. It's seven-ish hours away. We wanted to get there. I had to oh, drive to Ashby first, which is fucking cent- northern central Mass, to Just meet to everyone somewhere. going. And then we had to go up there. And things, it's like an hour and a half to Ashby. Did you go to your, like, where in Maine? Place? Like, all the way up? No, uh, Jackman. Yeah, it's pretty far yeah, up. Yeah, it's wicked, right next to the border, right? It's pretty close to the border, yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. I'm just rebuilding the old, the new camp. We're building uh, the new yeah. camp. That's cool. <sighs> That's a long drive. Yeah. Was it fun? Yeah. It was just a couple you, of days being a man, you know? Dick swinging. Big man on campus. Testosterone. Wow, brewing. So Speaking cool. of dick swinging, I don't notice an alcoholic beverage, Vinny. This is a new new leaf. I got to run tomorrow morning. That's why. What time are you running at? I think 10.30. I'm going to try to do it to work. I'm trying to do four miles. Push myself. How long does it will it take you to run four miles? I love thirty minutes. Pup high be thirty two minutes. That's not bad. Let's give you forty. Eight, eight minute no, miles. It won't be forty. I love to. We'll see. It depends on all the weather is and 40? how I feel. It's rough now because the the pollen in the air is killing me. Oh, that's why I'm not. I stopped running outside about two weeks ago just because the pollen. For the first time ever, I had to buy allergy medication because it was fucking. It's bad this year. Really bad. Yeah. It really is. Um. So I have a question. So. What how so what got you into running and when did you start just to notice that you were hitting kind of a stride? When I moved here, I started running along the Charles River over there, and it was just like way better than the treadmill. And also, I was up for a five k too before I started running. Treadmill so it kind of terrible. forced me to run. Yeah, so. 
I hate treadmills. Yeah, that's why I stopped doing it. It's too much impact on your knees, too. It kills my pace. Joints. It kills, yeah, my pace. It kills your can't. pace, really. It really does. Can't yeah. do it. It's not good. I like the uh, the bike. I'm doing mm. the bike more. I do have like you, at least five minutes of cardio, then I go to like lifting. Have you spun before, like a spinning class? I've never done spinning. I've it, heard it's like really intense, it though. It kicks your ass. Yeah. I've never done it. That. Yeah. I don't know. I would be open to try it. They have a spin class at the fitness center I go to. Yeah. yeah. Is it free at Hanscom? Yeah. It is? Mm-hmm. I, I, I wasn't sure when I was there. Everything's free, like there. Like, if yeah. you want to go rock, rock climbing, it's free. I really yeah, want to. Yeah, so I've read that online, yeah. You I did, do you did the class first, though, before you can do it. Yeah. I, I used to do rock climbing as a kid, so I miss it. It misses you. It called me the other day. It said, yeah. Where's Ethan? It where's, did? The, where's the little guy? Oh my God, Hi, I'm a piece of slate. Can you climb me? Yes. Great. Nice. Yep. Great. Yep. Right. yep. I have uh, joining a men's league. For what? I don't know. I'm trying to either pick between uh, lacrosse or uh, bowling. I'm playing in softball league. Bowling leagues are yeah. fun. Really? How's your softball league going? Um, I've missed the two games I've been in. So they're before. winning. How, how's practice? Do you, do you have to go? No, we don't practice. It's a beer oh, league. That, that's, oh, you go to a beer league. Okay. Yeah, so the first, the first game I missed for some reason. I forget why. Second game got rained out. Third week, we had a bye. Last week I was traveling for work, and this and today I had to go to Waltham, so I missed it. Where did you travel for work? New York, city or state? Yay. City. How was it? It's great. Concrete What'd you do? Uh, had a little had a little training for work, and then uh, went to the the Red Sox Yankees game. How was that? I got yelled at. I got remember. Oh, actually, this is kind of funny. Vinny, remember how you got abu- verbally abused by a kid? You mean me every day? Ice skating? Yeah, I got verbally abused by a, a Yankees fan who was 10 years old. Pink laces and go fuck himself if he's dead. He, uh, this kid was Fucking just... 12 year old. This kid kept telling Can me I sucked. please calm down? No, I just like to let my feelings out. Oh, okay, that's fine. That's good. Don't keep a bottle up. No. You'll end up like... Then you end up with your brains against the wall. Kurt Cobain. So this kid... Oh, I love Foo Fighters. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kurt Cobain? I love Chad Kroger. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, so this kid was this kid was just co- telling me I sucked the entire time, and then the Yankees had a like, yeah, your dad's dick. <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah, the, you suck. Where are you from? The Yankees I'm had from a really Maine. good. Oh, sorry. The, the Yankees had a great eighth inning, and like after that, he patted me on the head, and I was like, I can't do anything about this. Did like, you try to like? Yeah, you can. Yell something. At what him? you do is, you open a credit card in his name and ruin his credit score because we're white. That's how we get shit done. <laughs> Now people know we're white. Yeah, people didn't know that before. Really? They probably knew that. <laughs> they definitely knew that. Um, so, yeah. But other than that, it was a great experience. New York's a great city. I love New York City. I, I, I think most people like love New York. It's Did you watch The Deuce yet, Ethan? Uh, no. You got to watch not. that show if you love New York. It's really good. Yeah. That's the, the porn show, right? Yeah. The 70s New York is really it's fucking great. It's on my list. It's on the list. Awesome. I watched a video today at work, actually. It was the... Uh, New York City in the 1980s, and it was just this random compilation. Oh, I've of seen that. I've seen that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I was like, "Wow, this is amazing." I've been really into mob stuff lately. I uh, like Al Capone, or like the like, mafia, yeah, or like Pablo Escobar. No, that's not the mob. That's the cartel. Mob, ignorant cartels, fuck. They're basically. I'm Ethan. I'm so world cultured. No, I'm talking like the Italian mafia in New York City. Have you seen The Departed? I love the Departed. I love the fucking Departed kid. <laughs> so, I fucking love it with all my heart. So <laughs> I'm basically fucking Matt Damon after I watch that fucking movie. Like, <laughs> no fucking joke, kid. I'm going to become a fucking statey now. Watch my fucking words, all right? This kid's about to become a fucking statey. Ethan, I can't lie. That was actually really good. Thank you. Um, but <laughs> I yeah, worked on it a lot. The, the Departed is, is a good movie and also... Oh, The Departed? The Departed, Shut yeah. the fuck up. We're done. <laughs> The Departed. Right, oh, you know Matt. You know, you know Matt Damon. Oh, Leonardo fucking DiCaprio. I fucking love that dude. Uh, anyways, um, yeah, the Departed's good. The town's good. But I'm talking about like New York. Uh, New York, like uh, like Al Capone or like Al Capone, with Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Mickey I'm, Cohen. I'm, no, I'm not talking like the the. I'm not talking like Depression era. I'm talking more um, like 70s, 80s, 90s. Okay, it's, so like who in particular? Are you thinking like Whitey Bulger? Whitey Bulger is Massachusetts. I'm thinking like also that era. Not, not like Italian. That's what I'm saying. Like he like ran this turf. 
Like, that's yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I'm talking like that era of like mobsters. Like, uh, like the Columbo family. Okay. The Columbos. All right. Like there Christopher five, Columbus is a bad guy. There were five families in like the, in, they made the New York mob. I forget what they, but yeah, interesting stuff. Uh, the, the Italian mobs. Yes. The, uh, like, like one of my favorite movies, The Goodfellas. Love that movie. Yeah. Great. Latanda Heist. Fucking amazing kid. Yeah, but they there's like five five Italian families that that rule that ruled New York back in those days, and there was like a balance of power, and was, I find that stuff very interesting. Did you hear about that uh, new movie at the Keynes Film Festival? Uh, oh, that everyone that people left because the it was serial killer one. Yeah. Oh yeah, the house that Jack built. The house that Jack built. Yeah, I haven't seen the Matt trailer Dillon. for uh, it. Yeah, yeah, Matt Dillon. But I, I have wanna... one part I didn't like, so I don't know if I want to see it or not. It's Is also it a, like. Uh, Two and a half hours long. Isn't it by Lawrence Von Trapp, correct? Trier. No, Trier. Yes. Apologize, Lawrence Von Trier. I heard that guy makes a lot of movies. Yeah, he made Antichrist. Yep. Really fucking weird movie. Really fucking weird. It's just a movie about... uh, The Antichrist. Is it? I don't think it is. I think it's more of a metaphorical kind of thing. It's about a... uh, From what I remember, I saw part of it, and then I fell asleep because I was tired. It's a... Is it scary? You know, it's just trippy, it's surreal. Uh, husband and wife, child dies while they're having sex or something. He falls out a window, and it's him like spiraling out of control afterwards. Some shit. Huh. I'll, have to, I'll have to watch someday and finish it. I hate scary movies, so let's I'm watch just gotta that. Keep that in mind. Well, we should go s- watch the uh, the house that John built. I'm gonna go Jack. see. I'm gonna Jack. go see the new Deadpool this weekend, so I'm excited. Oh, yeah, for that. It's open. Wow. Oh yeah. Can't wow. Wait. Wow, Pippa. Pippa is still here. That's the first time we talked about Pippa. Well, she just Hi, wandered in. Hi, Pippa. Does she she likes the new place? The first two a little. She growled a lot in the beginning, looking out the window for the first time, seeing all this, the cars and shit. How how does she growl? City. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that great example. No hissing, just. <laughs> she hisses at me. Yeah, she's good now. She likes it. A lot more going on for her to look at. Yeah. Instead of a basement of Waltham. More, spa- more space for her, too. What do you mean? Only the dungeon? Yeah, I'm not a fan. It was cool, like cold temperature-wise, but that's about it. Can you go ahead and put those uh, those great pictures and everything that you used to have up on the fridge again? I have them, actually. Which ones? Vinny, Vinny left them. I took some things with me, but... I took, you left you an, entire, an entire Walgreens photo packet. The fucking I problem have. is this fridge I have here, it's stainless steel in the front, so it's on a magnet uh, on the other side. Well, then you might as well get some tape, boy. Oh, wow. Is that a so threat? I saved all of them tape so we can look through them. Oh, wow. Memories. Thank, thank you. No problem. There's, it's mostly pictures of, of Vinny and Pippa when she was young. <laughs> Aw. Talking about happy Are you guys going to get a dog? At some point. Not in the near future, though. But yeah. What type of dog are you interested in? French bulldog. No. Yeah, but I, I, really, I really want a lab. That's my fucking thing right now. So yeah, labs are great. In about a year or so, we're, I think we're gonna end up when we move in together. Me and my SO, Ethan. No, oh, sh- uh, sorry, I tried Ethan. I think we settle oh, on a, gold, on a golden doodle. It. Mm. Ooh, so golden a, doodles are interesting. Yeah, it's a golden retriever and a poodle mix, but mm. it doesn't shed. It's hypoallergenic, so you don't have to clean up. It's pretty good. That's the one bad part about a lab is that they shed. Yeah, I know. Same with the golden. The I would. I love goldens, but. I don't want to deal with the, uh, all the time. with the shedding. Derek's checking the time. I'm what checking the time. We got 12 minutes, guys. I really want to get a uh, uh, a German Shepherd. This one's going by slow. Yeah, it's, it's because everyone's tired. <laughs> I it's think we're of, all it's tired. Yeah. At night. yeah, I really want to go home and sleep. We're also talking not, to the mic. We're also not drinking. I really want to go home and sleep. I had a beer earlier. But well, we have, we we have to hit the limit. It's 45. Even then you have to do 45. 45 minutes. I think I can do it. I believe in you. I'm over the limit. So, so uh, this week going on in. Ethan's life. There's a carnival in town at the. You guys probably know about the uh, Fernald Center, correct? No. Is it the Waltham one? Yes. Oh, yeah. The fucking. It's the uh, old. Yeah, uh, yeah. So they I'll give just, the kids uh, radioactive isotopes in the cereal. Yes. Back in the 40s and 50s, the Quaker Oats family would give uh, kids or teenagers with mental disabilities uh, uranium, basically, inside their food to see how they would react to it. This was in Waltham? Yes, it was still open until uh, about four years ago. That was when the last resident was uh, put into another state institution. Wait, wait, where's this place? It's across from where I used to tan. Uh, Waverly Oaks. Oh no, shit! It's yeah. right there. Yeah. It's right over there. 
You used to go tanning? Yeah. So you're going there? Uh, yes. Why? They reopen it for this carnival every year. <laughs> Fun. Sounds, yeah. Uh, sounds up until as about hell. a week ago. Well, actually, this up until about three days ago. Written on the side of one of the buildings was "Save Us," which kind of creeped me out. Not gonna lie, I drove past and I was like, "Oh, that says Save Us." <laughs> oh, okay. It's pretty creepy. Yeah. 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 Fun times. Hopefully, I see some weird shit there. Nice. Probably won't. Probably won't. There's going to be a lot of people. Carnival looks cool, though. I don't like carnivals. I won't go on any rides. I don't I, trust the rides. Yeah. I'm just going to go there for the fun. We're going to walk there. Maybe some girls there can talk to some girls. I'll talk to some carnies. Maybe they know some girls that I could talk to. Yeah, girls tend to stay away from carnies. So that's probably not the best strategy. Maybe yeah. about a carny girl. Or just a regular girl, too. That will probably work. I don't know. I haven't had much luck, so maybe not. Have you... You should create a um, Craigslist ad. Oh. Should we create a Craigslist ad for him? <laughs> it sounds like a terrible idea. Why don't we just get on plenty of fish? What? <laughs> Why not? Yeah, do Everyone has to go through at least once in their life. You should probably just do it. Everyone has to go through a McCann just in their life. Don't take <laughs> don't take it seriously. Just fucking have fun with their profile. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Nice. My buddy actually met a girl on there. It, she, really? On a dating site? No, on like Don't say. Of what? <laughs> really? Huh. Huh. Crazy. Continue. Oh, crazy. Yeah, she's he's all right. I, don't know, I haven't met her. He's a very private guy. Oh, they're, but they're still seeing each other? Yeah. I he, bet she's fucking fat. Yeah, she's huge. <laughs> but so is he. He's got a little bit heavier on the heavier side, so I was like, it's all right, man. Nice. Nice. That could be you. Could be me. Slam that. How's your dick? Wet. That's starving. 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 <laughs> Hashtag <Energetic. get> laid. <laughs> Young. <laughs> Eager. So insatiable. Right. So, so so tell me, so you you work whatever your shift is. <sighs> yawn, yawn. What do you do on the weekends? It really depends. We're going to do Monadnock again this year, oh, and I like, might oh, actually no. do it this time. Uh, Vinny's actually going to try and attempt to hike Monadnock this time. Can I go? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Just don't be hungover like me last time. Yeah, don't drink before, because I don't want to have to drive. I wouldn't do that. I need all the help I can it get. It was really I don't want to have to drive it was two hours really again and drive two hours was back bad. home. Yeah, not fun. Can Pippa come? Can we put her on a harness? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Throw on my ruck. Bring yeah, up do the it. Mountain. I, feel like, I feel like Pippa would love it. I feel like she would lose her shit. <laughs> Attention overload. <laughs> Also, I'm only wearing Ranger panties. Yeah, me too. I'm not wearing a shirt. Do it. You won't do it. I'm, I'm gonna be serious. I'll, I picked I'll a shirtless wear, last like I'll, month. I'll wear the the Ranger panties, but I will. I should, for the benefit of everyone else, I'll wear a shirt. Uh, Derek, make sure when you buy Ranger panties, you buy like XL or double XL. I'm getting. You have to go size up, right? You have to go size up. You yeah. should. Is it? Is that necessary to go yes, size up? No, you need to go size up so your fart. balls don't fall out. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, it's like happening. Like, <laughs> kids like would like buy them training. Like, oh, I really want the short, short ones. And like they'd be at the gym. He'd just do the two something like, nut hanging out. When he's like bench pressing, you're like, bro, put that shit in. He's like, oh, sorry. He walks up and tucks it in. <laughs> hey, you're going to help out everyone, you know? So you're saying we should get smaller ones. <laughs> one size <Yeah>. down. <laughs> one size. Mm, no. <laughs> I don't want to be out on the trails and be like, oh, what's that berry on the ground? I get boners really easy, too. You do? I'm hard right now. You lucked. <laughs> you lucked. Are you hard? He is, no. he is hard. Look at him, bro. He, he tucks nice. it up. That's what he told me one day. He goes, so here's the secret, Ethan. You flip I'm it up. all the time. You just got to flip it up into the waistband. I was have like, you ever seen Superbad? Yes. Literally, it's how you do it. What are you doing here? Have boners. Does this little hang out? Yeah. I want like, oh boy! <laughs> I want everyone to know. I want to be like, damn, that kid's erect. <laughs> I, did, did, I don't think this. <laughs> oh, that's a hiccup. That was a hiccup. I don't like, think this ever okay. happened to anyone I knew. But you ever have anyone like you know in high school, like your hormones are raging, you're just getting boners like crazy. Yep. Do you ever get someone who like called up to the board and they had a, a boner? No, it's in the movies. Another hiccup. Oh, that, never... that almost happened to me once. I think you have a small dick. Yeah, good thing, huh? They Hashtag small favors. Yeah, it was a pretty risky situation. I was yeah. next up to go present a project, and I was like, oh, fuck. And I was like, I really concentrated really hard and thought about, like, sad stuff. 
And yeah, then you just, got harder? Yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Yeah. That's not the best. Good shit. So, listeners, we have five minutes left, so get excited. Yeah. This is get a rust. This is, a, this is, we're rusty. We're rusty. For Welcome sure. back. This is the greatest time to be sad. The so, greatest um, time to be sad. Hashtag sad. So, Ethan, where are you thinking about moving if you move, which you shouldn't? Well, originally I was thinking about moving to uh, to Plymouth, but then I was like, no, what that's kind of gay. Motherfucking so pilgrim over here. I decided not to move to The Rock, and I was thinking about maybe uh, uh, Wilmington or uh, Tewksbury. Maybe move to a fucking... S- you're young, man. Shit. Maybe Lowell. N- nah. I was thinking about moving mm, to Lowell. That's a good know. starter area. It's not bad if you have the commuter there to route uh, through there in the middle L- L- is pretty cheap. L.A.? Low area. Yeah. Low area, okay. All right. But I would just... I'm just around here. That's just me now. Knowing what I know now. Well, I mean, I don't also have the money. You get well, f- you get roommates, man. Shit. It's not that expensive when you have roommates. I've been trying to find roommates, but no one I know wants to move out because they're like, oh, I waste my money on I can find you some shit. people. You are 20, so I guess that kind of makes sense. Yeah. I don't know. What you got to do is go to school, find people at school looking for a roommate. So you make friends. Or go on Craigslist. Or on Craigslist. I don't know about Craigslist. Rad pad. Hot pad. Serial killers. Apart.com. Apartment pad. That's what I'm interested Hashtag. in. Hashtag. Yeah, you should probably just stay with your parents for a couple of years, save up some money, and then move. You're 20. It's not going to happen. Why? Do they want you out? Yeah. Nope. I don't believe you. Yep. I'm going to call your mom and ask her. Yeah, we'll ask her. Let's call her. Let's call, call her on the phone. Her. What's your mom's phone number? I'm not going to say it. That would have been funny if you said it. <laughs> not, the, not that we have a <laughs> lot of listeners. <laughs> They're going to Cape Cod for my father's birthday. When's your father's birthday? I don't know. I think this weekend. You should know this. <laughs> Are you invited? I'm going to Cape Cod. I didn't want to go anyways. Why? He doesn't want to hear the bed creak. <laughs> When his parents have sex. Little, little birthday sex. Your dad have a big dick? <laughs> Wouldn't know. Everyone knows, Why? Because you're everyone, drugged? Everyone knows that dad dicks are the biggest. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag real talk. The minute you have a child, this drops three feet, and you're just like, damn. I mean, I don't know the specifics of the anatomy, but it's just true that dad dicks are bigger than non-dad dicks. It's just basic. Is this facts, Vincent? Basic. Can, yeah, I, my head's can I get a facts, facts check? Boop, 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 boop. Facts check. It's basic biology. Facts basic, check. Basic biology. You, so you haven't seen your dad's dick? No, I never have. Ever? Have you ever seen your father's dick? Probably when I was younger. Did you ever see your dad's dick back in the day? I don't think so. Huh. I might change my answer then. <laughs> <laughs> God. Yeah, so we only have a couple more minutes, guys. We can do this. I have push glasses. It through, push it through, and I'm gonna walk. We haven't talked car. about poop. I know I did tweet oh, about it earlier. Let's we talk, talk about, about that. I took uh, three shits today. Wow, how's your butthole feel? Uh, the first one was solid. Are you a last. thorough wipe? See, my problem is when I poop. I'm <laughs> okay, here we go. I'm super thorough <laughs> with oh, my wiping. Exactly, same here. So my butthole just hurts. Like if mm-hmm. I poop more than twice a day, it's re- it hurts. It was really bad. I did it like twice at the end of the day, so I had to keep leaving. Oh. And I was just like, I f- kind of feel bad. But I was like, Do you ever have really, really hot poops? Yeah. I, I don't have only them often. After, only after I drink. But they're hot and they feel yeah, they're like, they're ah! Like, they're like burning. Like you're just sitting there like, fuck. <laughs> like, also, what are we doing? Oh, so a, good. Speaking of pooping, squatty potty. Oh, I got to buy, buy a new one. Throw that one away. Yeah. That one's old. You're throwing yeah. out the old one? You should yes. bring it into the work. You want it? No. You don't ham. You don't do hamming on honestly, squatty potties. Honestly, no, I mean, I don't do ham down squatty honestly potties. I probably accidentally peed on it a couple times. So I, if I puke on it, I don't <laughs> to Derek. it's it's <laughs> some shit. Hey, puking's cool. It gets restaurants closed down. Hashtag Ethan. Hashtag Serpico. Hashtag Ethan's gonna be killed by Chili's police. <laughs> Chili's police. Chili's sponsored. Oh, uh, I changed the Twitter handle by the way. What's the Twitter? What is handle? it? It's at slightly biased underscore at the end. Okay. Underscore at the end. I like that. That's the only way I could fucking make it work. I tried. We're at. I've been tweeting a storm up. I don't use my, my regular tw- Twitter. Is yeah, dead. I've been, I've been the podcast. I've been Twitter. responding to your Twitter. Why is your regular like Twitter dead? Yeah, bored with it. I have more fun with the podcast one because there's no name attached to it. So I just tweet out random shit all day. Yeah, and I respond to it, and I'm the only one. No, you're not the only one. 
one of the I pods. would respond to it sometimes. Shout out Karen at City. They respond. How are they doing? Good. They want to be in the podcast again. I want to be right. Well, <laughs> this was the Slightly Biased Podcast. We're at that time. That was a rough 45 minutes for us, and I'm sure it'll be rough for the listeners. The first 45 is the hardest 45, though. Yeah. Let's be honest. Yeah. I'm we'll, going to go home and sleep. Well, I think we're are we on our schedule again. Yeah, so we, we'll, we'll be weekly. Um, they should be get better, hopefully. Mying how to talk but, about um, bite. Yeah. You know what, Ethan? I have a homework assignment for you. Okay. To be on this podcast, again, need to go on a date. I One date. Trying. Yeah, it's hard. I like this girl today. I messaged her. I haven't gotten a reply back yet. She's kind of cute. Move on. Next one. Yeah. Right. Don't be there's, fucking Kevin. There's it's no one a, out. I a, ran out of likes today. It's a game of numbers. Just pay for it, then. How, how big is your radius? I think like 50. 50 Make. miles? Yeah. Holy shit. You've been doing a lot of swiping, then. Yeah. Lower that down a little bit. Actually, it's 50 <laughs> or 30. I can't remember. Uh, go if you pay for it, passport to Boston area. <laughs> Just swipe there. swipe there. Yep. Make up plenty of fish. Oh, yeah, it is 15. Let me drop this down to fucking 30. And just fucking get, go on one date. Sounds good. Because I want you I want to be on here with a report. I've been on uh, Bumble, too. Oh, okay. It's great. Just use, we all know what dating sites. Use them. That's your homework. All right. And this was the Slightly Biased Podcast with Derek Finney and guest star, Ethan. I'm always a star. We'll see you guys next week. Hashtag. Hashtag walking on the sun. Hashtag tagging. Thank you.